Now, don't take my word for it on this. Don't take anyone's word for it. Do this to yourself. Listen to information on climate change, and when you hear it, ask yourself, are they talking about guessing at rows, or are they talking about choosing between columns? Because I think you'll see that however you construct this, the argument still leads to the same inescapable conclusion, which is this. When faced with uncertainty about our future, the only responsible choice, the only defensible choice, really the only choice, is column A in order to eliminate this as a possibility. Because the risk of not acting far outweighs the risk of acting. So, there's my silver bullet argument. What is this argument trying to convince us of? That global climate change exists? That global climate change will lead to unspeakable disasters? That we must take action to avert global climate change? None of the above? That's the first thing you have to decide. What's the main contention that's being urged upon us by the speaker? But here's where things get interesting. What's the logic involved here? Please keep this in mind. You don't have to symbolize the argument. Just accurately represent the propositions used in the argument. When you evaluate the argument, think about any fallacies that might be lurking in the background, such as false cause, or weak analogy, or even slippery slope. Also, ask yourself the ultimate question that any logical thinker faces. Do I accept this reasoning? Does it convince me? What is the logical basis for my acceptance? Keep in mind that the framework for the justification, even though it uses the language of deduction, is basically one of risk management. Remember the question at the beginning of the video, what's the worst that can happen? So, there are multiple paths to reconstructing the argument as well as its evaluation. Okay, that does it. Good luck with your essays.